Okay, here's a given example. Again, we're talking about the average. We're going to be asked to find the average rate of change. And at the same time, here it's no longer <clears throat> a free-falling object, but it's a function value. It's a function with a curve. So given the function, which is a parabola, y is equal to x squared, find the average rate of change of y with respect to x over an interval. See, you have an interval again from 2 to 5. And then number two, find the slope of the parabola at the point 2, 4. So if it's at a point, what do you think we're going to do? We're going to find the instantaneous, uh, instantaneous rate of change at t equal to, or at x equal to 2. So this is the same thing as <clears throat> your uh, instantaneous speed. But what this is, it's going to be the it's going to be the slope of the line tangent to the curve at this particular point. Here, what we'll, what we'll get is the, sec the slope of the secant line that joins the two points when x is equal to 2 and when x is equal to 5. Okay? So, and then he, once we get these two, we, we'll, see the diff we'll see now that we, we're getting here a secant line. Here, we're going to get a tangent line. Now it says write an equation of the, for the tangent to the parabola. So in the first in the first uh, problem, finding the average rate of change just delta y over delta x. So that's going to be f of five minus f of two divided by b minus a, which is delta x. It's the differences between the x's is five minus two. Remember, this is just a slope. This is just a slope of the secant line joining the points at x equal to 2 and at x equal to 5. So let's go ahead and write that down. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's going to be 5 squared minus 2 squared over 5 minus 2. So that's going to be 25 minus 4 divided by 3. And what you get here is what? 21 over 3, so that's equal to 7. So what is this? It's also the slope of the secant line. Okay? Now, how do we do letter, how do we take the slope of the line tangent to the curve at x equal to 2 and its y value is 4? Okay? So what we do, we take the slope of the secant line over the interval from 2 to 2 plus h. Then you take the limit as h approaches 0. So it's just like the instantaneous speed. So let's go ahead and take the limit of f of 2 plus h minus f of 2. Okay, that's It's just like you have an interval but then what happens to that interval, you squeeze it in. Divided by 2 plus h minus 2 is the same as h. See that? h approaches 0. What does this give us? This, give us? this gives us the slope of the line tangent to the curve, which is also the instantaneous. Remember, it's also the instantaneous uh, speed or rate of change of the function y. What is it again to? It's also the derivative value at the point x equal to 2. So let's write that down. It's going to be the limit of 2 plus h squared. Because remember, f of 2 plus h, just plugging in the argument x, instead of x, we plug in 2 plus h. You square it minus f of 2 would be 2 squared. Whole thing divided by h. We'd let h go to 0. Okay, what are we going to get here? It's going to be 4 plus 4h plus h squared minus 4. Whole thing divided by h. And we're going to get a very similar problem that we have uh, with our uh, free fall equation of a free-falling object. So we're taking the limit of 4 minus 4, so that cancels out, 
and then see that h is a common factor, so let's go ahead and pull out the h. It's going to be 4 plus h over h, and cancel out what makes 0 in the numerator and the denominator. And now we're taking the limit of 4 plus h. Remember, that's a constant, so the limit of a constant is always a constant. So it's going to be 4 plus 0, so it's going to be 4 plus 0, which is equal to 4. Now what is this? It's the slope of the line tangent to the curve at the point 2, 4. Okay, so so far what we've found is the slope of the line tangent to the curve at y equal to x squared. See, this is what we got. So the slope is equal to 4. So now what we need to do is set up the equation for the tangent line. Now remember what is the equation when you're when you have given the slope. So given the slope m of the tangent line which is 4 and also we're given the point because that's where we're going to get the slope. So the point is, I mean get the tangent line at that point 2, 4, then we will use the slope point formula. So y minus y1 is equal to n times x minus x1. So this is your x1 and that's your y1. Okay, and so let's go ahead and there's your m. Now we go y minus 4 is equal to 4, that's the slope, times x minus x sub 1 is 2, and the rest is just solving for y. So we get y equals 4x minus 8 plus 4, since we're moving 4 to the other side, so we have y is equal to 4x minus 4. So what is this? This is the equation of the line tangent to the curve at the point 2, 4. Now let's go ahead and look at that uh, graph of y is equal to x squared. So that's the graph of a parabola. And here you've got the secant line. The line that passed, that's the line segment, is the secant line from 2 to 2 plus h. Then as that, as your h goes to 0, that means this gets closer and closer to 2, then this black line would become a tangent line whose slope is 4. Okay, so that's now the, this is now the line tangent to the curve, so the equation of this line would be, that would have an equation y is equal to 4x, minus 4. Now, what is the slope of the line tangent to the parabola at any point? Well, what we need to do therefore is just to take the limit of f of x sub 0 plus h minus f of x sub 0 over h. We let h go to 0. It's going to be um, the limit of what is x of 0 plus h evaluated uh, uh, f of x of 0 plus h. Well, whatever you plug, whatever the x, replace it by x of 0 plus h, square that, and then x of 0 squared. Take the limit as h approaches 0. So that's equal to the limit of x sub 0 squared plus 2 x sub 0 h plus h squared minus x sub 0 squared. Whole thing divided by h, cancel that. And then we continue on and we say it's the limit of, and again here you're going to have an h over h, I mean a 0 over 0 situation. So Let's go ahead and pull out the h, and you're left with 2 x sub 0 plus h over h, 
take the limit as h approaches 0 and what do we get? Cancel that out and this is a constant remember with respect to h we're letting h go to 0 so you treat this whole 2 times x of 0 as a constant so it's going to be 2 x of 0 plus 0 which is equal to 2 times x sub 0. Now remember that this is also, so this is the slope of the line tangent to the curve at the point x sub 0. It is also the derivative at x sub 0. So if x sub 0 is 2, then it's 2 times 2, which is what we got. It's equal to 4. If x sub 0 is 1, then it's going to be 2 times 1. So it's it's like a, a function in itself because you can plug in any value for x sub 0 and then you'll get the slope of the line tangent to the curve at any point on the parabola. So you can think of it as a working slope formula. So the next section will will look at uh, derivatives of a function or rather think of it think of a derivative as a function in itself. So that'll be for section 3 2. This concludes section 3 1 and 2 1.